Hey everybody, it's Mr. Sheridan. Today is November 2nd and this is Natural Resources. Hope you all had a great weekend and a happy Halloween. Uh, let's go over what we are going to do today because we are going to have a summative in Natural Resources on Thursday. So here's what I'm going to have you do. So uh, under week 12, under your uh, in our Google Classroom under Natural Resources, we have an assignment for today that's called Corn Plant Anatomy. There is a PDF here that I want you to fill out so you can open it in Nobility and write it down. If you've got a PDF editor that you can uh, that you can write down. So basically, it's got all the plant the parts of the corn plant listed and some short definitions about them. But what I do want to open up is so this is what the assignment is. You're going to have to go in and make sure that those. Uh, that you label all of these things. But, and we've talked about most of these parts of the corn plant. What I do want to go through very quickly is number 11, 12, 13, and 14, because we haven't really studied the parts of the kernel. So as you can see, you actually have a word bank down here. So I would expect that you could probably run through these and fairly quickly get through the first 10 words and you'd be left with four that we haven't covered yet before. So I want to go through those very, very quickly. So number 11, a covering that protects the seed. If you look down here, this is called the pericarp. So this is the word that defines the covering of the seed. It's what protects it. It's the outer coating of that corn kernel. Number 12, the carbohydrate portion of the seed. This is the most important part. It's the, it's the energy. It's why we feed corn to livestock. It's why we eat corn itself. It's what gives us the energy that we need. That is called the endosperm. So number, uh, number 12 up here is going to be the endosperm. Number 13, this part in here, the embryo from which comes a new plant. The term that we use when a plant actually comes out of the ground is germinate. I imagine you've heard that before. So this part right here, this white part is actually called the germ, G-E-R-M. So uh, this is gonna be, that is the germ. And then that very uh, bottom tip that actually connects to the kernel or to the corn cob itself is called the tip cap. This part down here, number 14, that connects the kernel to the corn cob where nutrients and water flow. It's the umbilical cord of the corn kernel. So, uh, so I, I wanted to run through those very quickly so that you can define those parts of the actual corn kernel itself. But what I'd like for you to do is make sure that you go back to our Google Classroom and I want you to get that turned in today. So to, on Thursday, we are going to have a summative based on the anatomy of corn and soybean plants. So you should, if you're planning to review, go back to and start at assignment number 21, root systems and identification. This is where you start at the very nice Indian gentleman that, uh, that went through root systems, both a tap root system and a fibrous root system. You're going to need to know the difference between those two. You're going to need to know the difference between a corn and soybean plant, how they get nitrogen, where it comes from. That's going to be a big part of it, but you're going to want to go back up through here, what the differences are in moisture content, when we should harvest both of these plants and that sort of thing. So what I am going to do is tomorrow, you're going to have a very similar uh, soybean plant identification uh, uh, assignment to do, but then you are also going to get a review sheet from me that'll, that'll go over some of the material that we're going to cover on the summative on Thursday. So if you have any questions about that, please feel free to email me anytime. If you want to have a study session, uh, we, uh, we have a whole day on Wednesday. It's just an advisory day. So you're going to have time to go back and catch up on assignments that you've missed. So take that time and make sure that you're ready to go for Thursday. If you need anything, please let me know and I will touch base with you soon. Have a great day, everybody.